Hi guys, I'm here today with my July favorites and I wanted to just um, quickly bring something up. I, um, as many as you guys saw my June favorites, I did go blonde. Um, it was a little too blonde for me and it was also pretty brassy. So yesterday I actually went to Sally's Beauty Supply. I spoke to a girl and I got toner and it's by Wella and I believe it was called T14 and it's kind of like light ash blonde it was supposed to be um, but I put it on my hair yesterday and it kind of came out to this so it used to be very brassy and it now it kind of just looks like I have like highlighted hair it's like like all over highlights kind of situation going on not so brassy anymore at all I don't think you could really tell in that video but it was pretty brassy so right now it is this color I do like it I already got a couple of compliments on it this morning when I was out and I'm probably gonna keep it like this for a decent amount of time I think I might touch it up a little bit here and there I have um, some highlighter stuff so I might kind of like do PC like balayage type things going on so don't mind me I'm still getting used to it so I'm kind of like touching my hair a lot and it's yeah I don't know but let me stop rambling about my hair and get into my favorite the first thing I want to mention because I did go blonde I bought this um, John Frieda sheer blonde color correct anti brass cleansing treatment and now this is just um, a purple shampoo which a lot of people do get when they go blonde it's just, it's to kind of tone down the brassiness of your hair and I really do like this it did help a lot like I noticed when I was using it before I did this to my hair I noticed that the brassiness was turn like toning down but it wasn't you know fully doing it to a point where I feel like it really like got rid of the brassiness I just kind of needed to like tone my hair um, completely so that's why I needed to do what I did yesterday but this stuff has been really good I've been using it a couple of times a week when I do wash my hair I only wash my hair about three times a week maybe if that sometimes two to three times I just kind of try to not do it especially since it's bleached I don't want to like further dry out my hair that kind of thing so I will use this maybe twice a week um, in replace of my shampoo and I have really been liking it and I got mine at Harman I believe it was only like six dollars something like that and I'm almost done something I've been obsessing over right now is this Brazilian bum bum cream and it's by the brand Sol Janeiro I think that's how you say it um, it looks like this I didn't really show it to you when I went to Beautycon in October with Jess um, we got a sample size of this and it was actually like a decent size too um, I never really touched it until like I started seeing people talking about it more and I'm just like okay what is up with that I'm pretty sure I still have that sample because I have like a bunch of samples in this like Ziploc bag in my closet so I was like I think I still have that let me go try it I fell in love with it guys I was obsessed with it to a point where I was like okay I'm gonna use this and I love it it smells so good it smells like like coconut like coconut but like it smells like sunscreen it just smells so good so like it's in this container now like the one that I because I actually went and bought it after I ran out of the sample but it's been my favorite thing ever I wear it like right when I get out of the shower I put it all over my legs especially right after you shave your legs it feels really nice um, I put it all over my body and it kind of like acts as a perfume in a way like if you don't want to like spray on perfume this like really smells really good and I love it I got mine at Sephora I don't remember how much I paid for it it was not that cheap especially for something this size but I was like it's so nice I really like it I'm gonna use it and I've had it for like two months and I still have so much of it it, and as I said, I put it all over my body, but it, it's like, it really blends, it like, it's like, oh, it's like the best thing ever. Speaking of stuff that smells good, um, I wanted to talk about um, this Victoria's Secret Noir Tease. Um, Sam gave me this last year for Christmas, and I use it all this, I've been using it a lot more lately. I actually just came across it about a month ago. Um, because I misplaced it. I think I just left it in one of my purses and then I went through all my stuff and I found it and I was like, oh, that's where that is. Okay, good. Um, but I wear this all the time. Like, I wear this and I also wear that Brazilian bum bum cream and I wear this like, oh, 
like over it or something and it, the combination of the both of them smell really good i get compliments on this all the time everybody likes it my mom likes it my mom usually doesn't compliment me with my perfumes because she always thinks there's too, they're too sweet or they're too sugary smelling stuff like that so she complimented that one and i was like okay if mom likes it i guess it's okay next i wanted to mention um another jeffree star lipstick i love his liquid lipsticks guys they're like my favorite thing in the entire world right now i'm wearing like I'm wearing Candy K by uh, Kylie and this is so much better like the formulation I love it like I feel this on my lips these I don't feel on my lips um, but this color is pretty I'm not saying it's not but um, again this is Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick and this is in the color androgyny so it's kind of like a like a mauvey brown kind of color I'll show you even though I don't want to waste the formula looks like that it's really pretty color I love it. He like never goes wrong with these colors. Like I've had no bad colors at this point. Next, I want to talk about um, a highlighter, and this one is the Revolution. What is it called? The brand Mevolu um, Revolution Makeup Revolution. I don't know Makeup Revolution. I think that's the name of the brand, and it's the Vivid Baked Highlighter in Golden Lights. And I saw this, and I was like. I need to get my hands on it. I don't know if it's showing up true to color. It might be like right there. But like look at that pigment. And it's like six dollars. It's like a white gold kind of champagne -y, um highlighter. I had it on my cheeks today. Um it's probably like not showing up right now, but I'll let me just put a little bit on it was on today I put it on like first thing in the morning so it's probably not there since I was working today um, but it's such a beautiful highlighter I paid like six dollars for it and it has great pigmentation I literally like tap like lightly tap my brush on it and I went like this and it was like almost too much so I was like how am I gonna apply this Cause, like I don't know if there's like another way I should apply it but it's a powder highlight and I got it at Ulta and it was so good I was like yes Ulta Yes. The next things I wanted to mention, and this is like random, are my sandals. And that's, these are them. I actually have these also, like this is kind of like a shiny black, and I also have matte black. These are Sam Edelman's, I believe they're the Gigi style um, sandal. I don't know, I've had them for years. Um, I actually had the matte ones first years ago and I thought I lost them. I thought I like left them somewhere at somebody's house, like a friend I don't talk to anymore's house. So I was like, well, I'm never gonna see those again. So I ordered another ones and then I just came across both of them recently. So I was like, oh, great. That's awesome because I misplaced both of them. So I love these sandals. They're so comfortable. Um, I never had any kind of issues with them. They fit perfectly. Um, I have I have a couple of shoes from Sam Edelman. I'm not saying that they're completely worth the money, but those are worth the money. The next thing I wanted to mention, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to have this as a favorite, but Pokemon Go, yeah. I'm obsessed it's terrible I play it all the time at work my friend and I are constantly playing it we're always texting each other like stupid memes that we see about Pokemon I've mentioned Pokemon before on my channel how much I love Pokemon um, I used to have like some kind of I don't know if it was a jailbroken kind of app but um, I had one at one point had um, had it on my iPhone like a Game Boy Advance setup so I was playing like the actual game of Pokemon like that was available on Game Boy so I love Pokemon and then my friend at work um, he told me about this website that you can f actually just watch all of like the Pokemon Indo Go League and the Orange Island episodes like plus ones that are beyond beyond it because I never watched all of it because I think at one point I got sick of Pokemon when I was younger so I was like uh, I'm not gonna watch that anymore but after you know I got older I was like oh watch that again because it was on they put it on Netflix a couple of years ago and I'm like yes I love it so um yeah I've just been obsessed with that I will leave the the um the website's name in the description if you wanted to watch any of those but you have to make sure that you watch the ones that are like the dubbed ones but i'll probably try to make sure i get the specific link of how to watch all of those one more favorite that i had um 
is actually The O.C., the TV show The O.C. I've never watched it before. It came out when I was in a rebellious stage in my life, and I'm like, I'm not going to watch anything that's mainstream. I was, like, very anti, like, girly girl stuff. Like, at one point, I was, like, very, like, emo-ish type. So I was not into, like, oh, my God, like, I have so much money. <laughs> like, I was not like that at all. And I don't know what it was, but a couple, like, maybe about a like six to eight months ago I was like oh I wish that I was like I want to watch the OC I was like it's not on Netflix it's not on Amazon Prime and it, they just put it on Hulu relatively recently so I was trying to find if somebody I knew had Hulu that I could borrow their account to watch it but then I just wound up signing up for the um the trial but unfortunately um I didn't realize how long the episodes were like or how many episodes per season there was so um, I wound up just signing up with Hulu I guess until I finish it I'll probably cancel it after it because nothing else is really appealing to me I don't like that you have to sit through commercials and pay for something like that so that's gonna go as soon as I'm done watching the OC but so far I'm really um liking the OC I was like oh I wish I watched this sooner I wish I was able to watch it sooner nobody really has it on like DVD anymore or anything that I could have borrowed it so and I didn't want to buy it I figured, you know, let me just sacrifice, um, I think $7.99 a month to watch on Hulu, but I like it so far. Um, but I think that's all I have to really mention for my July favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed, and I'll see you guys next time.